for developers working on IoT devices, there are three key challenges to address. Sensing, power consumption, and connectivity. Kionix and Rome's Rokic sensor node addresses each of these in a compact package that can be used for developing wearables, wireless sensors, factory automation, and other connected devices. The Rokic sensor node includes five sensors from Rome and Kionix, including 3D acceleration, 3D magnetism, 3D rotation, atmospheric pressure, and temperature. Each sensor has configurable low power modes to enable long battery life in portable devices. Expansion connectors allow developers to add additional sensors, such as optical heart rate, ambient light, color, hall effect, and others. The sensors are connected to a Nordic NRF52840 SoC. The SoC integrates a 64 MHz ARM Cortex M4F and a 2.4 GHz multi-protocol radio with support for all the features of Bluetooth 5, including longer range and higher data rates. The SoC is very efficient and integrates an adaptive power management system to minimize power consumption. The sensor node includes a rechargeable LiPo battery that offers up to 12 hours of typical usage and more than a week of standby time. The entire sensor node fits in a compact 42 by 67 by 22 millimeter housing that can be wrist worn or surface mounted. The Rokix sensor node is part of the Rokix IoT development platform and getting started is easy. All of the files are available to download at the Rokix IoT platform repository on GitHub. Under releases, you can scroll down to the latest release and download the entire repository as an exe installer file. This includes a Windows GUI, command line interface utility, Android app, firmware, drivers, and documentation. Once installed, connect the sensor node to the PC with a USB cable and launch the Rokix Windows GUI app. The status bar on the bottom should show the COM port of the board and that it's connected. On the menu bar, check the board menu to verify that Rokix sensor node I2C or Rokix sensor node SPI is selected. On the stream menu, select the sensor data you would like to stream. You can display the data in raw format or convert it to SI units. And you can also toggle which measurements to display, either by group or individual subchannels. The registers tab lets you read and write register settings for each sensor on the board. Click load and select the XML file for the desired sensor. Once loaded, you can read the current register settings, make changes, and write those to the sensor. For example, if I change the 0x3a entry for G select to 16G, then write that register, this will change the KMX62 accelerometer's range from plus or minus 2G to plus or minus 16G. This makes it easy to test various settings as you evaluate the sensors and develop with them. To learn more about the Rokix sensor node, visit the Rokix IoT platform page on GitHub.